All right, so there's a brand new PlayStation 3 emulator for Android, and we're gonna check it out. Now, I'm running it on a OnePlus 13 with this Snapdragon 8 Elite processor, and I'm gonna show you some of the games that I've got on here that's working, and I'm gonna show you my settings as well. We're gonna load up Dragon Ball Z Burst Limit just because this game is running smooth. It's pretty impressive. So, at the end of this, I'm gonna go through and show you how I changed my settings. As well, I'm gonna show you how to move games over and install them on here even if they want to crash there's a still a way to do it so let's get this game loaded up here and I'm going to show you how it works All right, so that's Dragon Ball Z Burst Limit. It runs good. I was getting about 40, 42, 43 frames per second through that game. It's good. Now, let me open up Oblivion. I just got done rendering all the shaders for this game, so it shouldn't take that long. Anytime you um, play a game for the first time, it's gonna take probably 10, 15 minutes to compile all the shaders. But let's get Oblivion loaded up because I'm told this game also plays pretty good. So let's get in here. I gotta make my character. I've never played this game. So I'm just gonna run through it. Oh, I gotta select the character name. That's just, I'm just gonna put some numbers in there. Cause I wanna get this just done, right? And it says press circle for done. Are you sure you want to be sure? All right, let's check this out. All right, oh, what is that, tutorial? You, oh, it's just telling me how to play. Alright, so I'm getting anywhere from 30 to 60 frames per second on this. It's a little spiky, so I could probably tweak some of the graphical settings in this uh, file. I don't know what I'm doing, y'all. I really don't. So that's enough for the Oblivion for me on this video. Now I'm gonna show you um, some of the different things here. When you do actually install this, you'll have to install the firmware, which obviously if you Google it, you'll find out how to install the firmware. Um, install the ISO and the PKG files. That's pretty self-explanatory, but some of these games will not install properly and they crash when you bring them over here, like Grand Theft Auto V. Now, with that, uh, you'll go through there, you'll select your ISO, and if it closes, there's still a way of doing it. You'll have to extract it um, using an RAR, um, and then I will show you um, where to go here. So let's pretend that you're in your device storage, AS, uh, APS3E, config, um, then you want to do the HDD, and then you'll go into game, and then you'll put the folder here for the PS3 game. So for instance, that's the Dragon Ball Z one, and it has a corresponding name here, right? 
and you can actually get that by putting the PS3 game folder in there first, loading the emulator, and it'll tell you what it is, and then you need to go in there and rename it. Once you do that, you can go up here and refresh it, and you're good to go. Now, some of the other things here. Now, if you use a file explorer, uh, you can actually edit the config file, and you can change like the recompiler, or you can go down here and change it to render or Vulkan instead of OpenGL. This is an Android. OpenGL will not perform as well as the Vulkan, so go change that as well. You can change your resolution. I put it to 800 by 600 just because that makes sense for a PlayStation 3 game. That's fine. Um, and then you also want to change the right color buffers to true and right depth buffers to true. Once you do that, you'll hit save and back out. And I'm going to show you where that config file is as well. It's going to be in the APS3E config and you're going to scroll down and config.yml and you'll edit that as a text file. Once you do that you can load up the game you want and let it compile. You're going to have to take 10-15 minutes to do that. Once you do that you should be good to go. Um, now if you like this video or enjoyed it or have questions go ahead and comment below. Please like, share, comment, subscribe. Definitely subscribe. Please subscribe. I really need you guys in here supporting my content, and I will see you guys later. Thanks.